Hi, I'm Nico, part of Rancode. At Rancode, we focus on building a data development platform for large-scale multimodal AI. Over the past few years, the AI industry has increasingly shifted towards multimodal systems. That is, models that combine inputs like images, videos, text, and audio. Uncode simplifies multimodal data management and curation, enabling teams to organize massive, unstructured multimodal data lakes and extract the most valuable subsets for their models. But today, we'll dive into a use case from one of our ML teams. Let's imagine that our ML team has told us about a valuable edge case they've discovered in our production environment, where we have dash cam camera setup for self-driving vehicles on the road. They've uncovered an edge case that our model performs poorly in severe weather conditions. They've curated 80,000 frames from our videos and given us access to Uncode Index to find relevant information to improve the model performance. Here we can see a grid view of all the 80,000 frames and we can explore in an analytics view the distribution across different metrics and custom metadata that the ML team has imported. So for example, we can see the distribution across different scenery, time of day, weather, and for example, the diversity metric that shows how different different samples are from each other. Luckily, our ML team has imported a preset using the SDK that can guide our curation efforts. So I'll go to our filters and pull up the ML team preset. We can see here that the ML team has included the time of day should be night, weather, rainy, and brightness at the lower end, so between 0 and 0 0.2. We can now verify this selection with the grid view below, and we can see that these images from the videos does indeed correspond to some semi-severe cases where there's rainy weather at night. We can now select all of these images and add them to a collection that will send for annotation and later model training. So we're going to call these severe weather conditions. Next, we can remove this preset and take a look if there's any other rainy or severe weather conditions that we should include in our annotation data and later for training. So I'm going to pull up my filters and I'm going to exclude the collection with just creates it. After excluding, we can start out with our natural language search and search for, for example, rainy or snowy weather. So let's start out with rainy and see if there's anything that the preset did not include. And as we can see here, there are indeed some cases that contain some very interesting frames. Here we can see that there are frames which has condensation and water on the front of the windshield, which might distract or uh, in some way affect our model. So we can now create a similarity search on top of this to find even more similar images and then add them to the same collection that we're going to send for annotation. After we've added the similarity search, we can now use our distance filter to find the most similar images to our search anchor and add them to our dataset for labeling. So I'm going to adjust my anchor here and we can now select everything once again and add it to our severe weather condition. Submit. Next, we can just quickly take a look at what this looks like within the embeddings view. So if we clear all of our filters and navigate to the embeddings view, we can see a 2D representation of all of the frames in our data set. In here, we can color the embeddings view by this collection to see how it is represented across this embedding space. So I'm going to click collection and color by severe weather conditions. And as we can see, we have a good even distribution across the data set, but now we have all of these new severe weather conditions represented. So we're going to click on our collections, take our severe weather conditions and add it to a data set that we can send for labeling. That's all for today's data creation demo. If you want to find out more about Uncore's multimodal capabilities, head to uncore.com slash multimodal. Thank you.